Well, resolution. Uh, first, let's just talk about the word, right? If you break it down, re-solution, mm -hmm. because the old solution didn't work. So you've got to make a new one. You re-solve something. So my resolutions are, again, to continue doing the weight loss, because I really... You know, I got off track a little bit. It was my I am. I did. It was the holidays and other things. Uh, I have to think about why did I really do that. There can be all sorts of anxieties. I've got a new job that I've just started. Maybe there are all sorts of different things. But So absolutely, want to be able to do that. I, One of my resolutions is Drug Story Theater. Mm. I have made a promise that we are going to have Drug Story Theater in front of every sixth grader and their parent right? through our video or through... Uh, being able to get the script out to schools, we're going to do all of that, um, and really just you know keep doing what we're doing. Every which is sixth grader, every sixth grader in the United States. In the United States, why not? I you know, it. I love it. We just did a couple of of wonderful shows up in Woburn. You know, with my group, we we are scheduled um, to be one of the the main speakers and um, performance people for the Cambridge Health Alliance. Uh, through their addiction conference. We're going to be the main group for the Massachusetts Nurses Association. So it's wonderful how people are recognizing it. Awesome. And, and, and it's really, you know, it's the kids that we have. They're so honest. They're so sincere. And it's true. You know, this is, this is what happens when you are using drugs and alcohol early on. Um, and we can talk a little bit about, about the brain and why that is. Well, let's do that because I know we... Um, we have talked about it a couple of times, a bunch of times. It's a it's a major component to the Drug Story Theater show. Um, but Thomas made a nice YouTube clip. So, folks, if uh, you're looking for some great content from the Dr. Joe Show, we have a YouTube channel now where Thomas is uh, putting bites of six, eight, ten minutes long. And we did a great one, really, really good piece on the brain development. And as I told you, Dr. Joe, I've uh, been coaching for years and years. And, and for years, I always thought the wheelhouse for me was 8 to 12 years old. But right now, I'm coaching um, 16 to 18 year olds. Um, I'm coaching them how to coach, actually. So they're coaching younger kids mm. skiing. Skiing. Skiing, yep. So I am coaching them. Basically, it's a leadership academy. It's a leadership training, how to deal with the kids. And I'm totally using the I am approach with mm -hmm. them every morning um, when we, you know, on the weekends, obviously. Um, but every morning we meet and I'm, I'm talking about different things and, and it's all uh, weaving the I am. But on New Year's Eve night at 530, I sent that out to the whole team, that eight minute clip. And I said, do me a favor, watch this in its entirety before you step out of the house tonight. Mm, yes, good. And the feedback was it was a little bit complicated. Really? So let's break this down in a way that's not as complicated. So your message is what? Wait. Just wait, wait until your brain is more developed before you start using, if you're going to use at all. You know, and I'm certainly not endorsing people using. But here's the dilemma. Because the way our brain matures, if you start using drugs or alcohol after the age of 21, one out of 25 people are at risk for lifelong addiction. But if you start using before the age of 18, that number goes from 1 in 25 to 1 in 4. Wow. Just think about that. One in four. So the reason is because the brain is largely divided into three parts. And within each part, there are different functions, but the basic division is brain stem, which is the most ancient part of the brain. It's the bottom part of the brain, the stem of the brain, which is responsible for everything automatic, breathing, heart rate, things that you're not even thinking about. We're all using it right now, but we're not thinking about breathing. You know, sometimes we do, but right now we're not. So the brain stem is ready to go at birth. It is mature enough to sustain life in a little baby. If a brain stem is not mature enough to sustain life in a little baby, more likely than not that baby dies, 
and that genetic component stops because you can't have another baby. Right. The next part of the brain that evolved over millions of years was the limbic system. This part of the brain sits on top of the brain stem, and it is responsible for emotions, for irrational thought, for impulses, for feelings, for pleasure, for memory. This is the part where addictions also live. And then sitting on top of that is this huge part of the brain that really distinguishes mammals. So the limbic system and the brain stem are like the reptilian brain, the lizard brain, and then the neocortex, neo is new cortex brain, the new brain distinguishes us as mammals and especially a part right behind your forehead, the prefrontal cortex. That and that's part, the last to develop. That is really the last to mature. Right. It's, it's a little, it's, I mean, it's there at right, birth, right. but it is not matured. That's the part responsible for rational thought, for solving problems, executing a plan, and anticipating what will happen next. So when that part of the brain is not mature, the adolescent is a limbic, impulsive brain and can start using drugs without thinking about the future and what will happen next. And so that's why in Drugs Free Theater, that's really the message we're sending to kids. Please, just wait until your brain is older. And we believe, truly believe, that the more a kid knows about their brain, and we teach about it in Drugs Free Theater, the less likely they are to give it away to drugs and alcohol. Right. Why would you want to give away this incredibly cool part of who you are? So that's the idea. Brainstem, limbic system, neocortex, prefrontal cortex in particular, how many times have you done something impulsively, limbically, and slapped your forehead going, oh, what was I thinking? As if you're trying to jumpstart your prefrontal cortex. That wasn't clicking on all cylinders at the time. Right. So right. let's talk about ages, right? So as your brain matures, as your body matures, as, as time goes on, 12, 13, 14 years old, you're, you're maturing from the bottom up. That's right, right. from the bottom right. of the brain up. So and, the and bottom what, of the brain is where the limbic system is where. So the limbic system is sort of in the middle of the brain, mm -hmm. deep in the middle of the, the very bottom is that brain stem that goes right to the spinal cord. Yep. It's like, imagine an ice cream cone, okay. right? So the spinal cord is the ice cream cone, the first scoop of ice cream is the brain stem, second scoop of ice cream is the limbic system, third scoop of ice cream is the neocortex or the new brain. And it matures from the bottom up. That's right. So if you're maturing from the bottom up and you're spontaneously reacting as a 16-year-old because the top scoop of ice cream is not yet there, yep. you're running the risk of actually damaging those top scoops of ice cream also, yes, right? that's right. You are running the risk of damaging it because the limbic system can really take control of your brain. And what we were talking about earlier, about you know road rage or these angry things, that is the limbic system taking control of your brain. And we can do things completely irrationally, where we're just so angry about something that we just do things without thinking what will happen next. And we've all done it. How many times have you had an argument with somebody that you really care about and wish you had not said what you said because you were limbic? That happens a lot as a teenager. Happens a lot as a teenager. That's right. And I think because when they're limbic, they're not just seeking the pleasure of drugs and alcohol. They also want to express their independence. Yep. So how do they quench that thirst without destroying their own bodies? And that's what Drugs Free Theater is trying to teach them. Teenagers want three things. Take risks, feel pleasure, and be social. Avoid pain. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's a setup for addiction. But it's also a setup for being on a sports team, for doing right. drama, for being, Excelling you know. Excelling and getting an A on your that's exam. That's right. And then you feel valued. You feel valuable. And instead of the drugs and alcohol giving you pleasure, you get pleasure because another person says you are amazing. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to help kids recognize they can do that for each other at every moment in time. Mm -hmm.